Hey, welcome, welcome back. Um, here's another positive energy message for you guys. Um, let's see, did I bring the? No, I didn't. So, I'm gonna tap into the overall energy and see what comes out. Okay, see what messages there are for you guys. Okay, but before we start, I'm just going to see what channel messages come out first, and we'll just go from there. Hey, beautiful. Um, so let's see. I'm hearing Starboy Surplus Oceanic View. Con- something about the congregation. Okay, something about the congregation. And somebody needs to calm down or something. So those are the messages that I have. So let's see. Somebody needs to calm down. Let's see what's going on here. Hey. Let's see. What are the mess? Let's see. Let's get the overall energy first. And we'll do that. Okay, so somebody's contemplating, thinking about making a decision, thinking about taking some kind of course of action here. Two of Wands. Okay, this is fire energy. Someone feeling inspired. Someone feeling enthusiastic to do something. Someone's thinking about possibly um, reaching out. Berkeley, go check the front door. It says both items has been delivered. Go check. Um, sorry, y'all. <laughs> Check the garage. What? Check the garage. Okay. Um. So as you can see, there's somebody here standing here, right? They have this one here that they've put behind them. So they've already taken action. They've already done something. It's secure. Whatever they've done with this, they secure this one. This one is secure. All right. So now this person is thinking about reaching out with something and do, or doing something else here. They have the whole world in their hands. So they're thinking about, okay, what can I do? Where should I go? You know, what can I create here in this energy here? All right. So let's see. What's up with this two energy here? Two is also given knowledge. Okay. Wisdom. Someone has learned some things with this other wand here that they put behind them. Okay. They've learned some things. And I feel like maybe they're going to apply the knowledge that they have learned um, into this next endeavor. So let's see here. What's going on with this two of wands for my viewers? Somebody's thinking about taking a chance on something. Let's see. What's the two of wands? We get some answers. Okay, yeah. I feel like it could be related to work with this eight of pentacles energy right here. Someone's building something. Someone is thinking about taking time to work on something to create something here. Or well, this person is taking action on creating something. This is someone who's good at, with their hands. You see, they're doing it with their hands. This is a builder, a creative. Okay, somebody's making something here. And they're focused too. They put in a lot of work. This could even be accolades or awards that somebody has acquired as well. Awesome for their work. Okay, so let's see. Something could have taken place in August. Let's see here. What else is going on? There's something good coming from that, though. Let's see. See, as I'm shuffling, the cards are kind of flipping out crazy. So there could be some kind of tower moment um, that could be going on. We'll see. All right. So someone could be taking a break from work. Someone could be thinking about taking a break or someone could be resting, thinking or healing or something like that. I'm going to see what comes out next to this card. The four also could signify um, someone could be thinking about what to say. This could even be a literal death, too, but I'm not I'm not getting death energy from this. Again, someone could be thinking about a family. I don't know. Let's see. Someone's definitely thinking about um I'm keeping hearing congregation. So maybe somebody wants to congregate, somebody wants to come together, somebody wants to fellowship, something like that. Somebody could want to take you out for a drink or get together and have some drinks. It doesn't even have to be alcohol, it could be like fruit punch. 
lemonade, tea. I don't know. These people are coming together. So someone could be thinking about celebrating with you or something like that. Let's see. Okay. Six of swords is here. This is someone who's moving. Um, someone going somewhere. Someone's being guided somewhere. Someone who's leaving a situation that's kind of rough to go somewhere where the situation is kind of calm. Like I said, calm down. So maybe somebody's thinking about it's moving things along now that something's calm or I don't know. Let's see. Tell us more. Yeah, somebody wants to go towards something more stable. So maybe somebody's thinking about working with someone or having a more stable job or something like this. Or this could even be someone going towards like engagement, congregation, going to church or something like that. It's something like that, y'all. It could even be like going to church or... I don't know, <laughs> but it's something like that, okay? Let's see, what else? Something more stable. Something more traditional. Somebody here is answering the call or they're surrendering. Um, somebody's made some kind of decision. Judgment is a final decision. Somebody's made a decision on something. Hmm. Let's see if we can get some clarity on some of these. Let's see. What can we get? Wow. I spent the day and we have the Ace of Swords and the Star here. So someone's clear on what they need to do or where they need to go or who their star is or who their... Someone could get a... um. Let me see. Can we get one more? Ooh. The devil. What's the devil? The Wheel of Fortune and the Hangman. I feel like somebody's secretly... Let me get one more. The Empress. Yeah, it is. The Devil is definitely Capricorn energy. Um, also, there's Pisces energy here. There's also Taurus energy here. Um, and Leo energy. I feel like somebody's trying to move something forward. Tell me more. Yes, yeah, Ace of Swords is out here again. So, somebody's definitely trying to move something forward here. Okay, with this work i'm getting work somebody's working a lot possibly tell me more so there's the queen and king of swords here also the eight of swords came out so there could be lots of yeah all right i get it somebody is trying to manifest there could have been a situation where you and a person could have been at odds maybe you guys weren't speaking i feel like somebody's trying to manifest this conversation somebody's trying to push this along here somebody's trying to manifest communication or action between you two is what i'm getting here let me see with the romeo and juliet Let's see. Yeah, somebody's going to try to persuade you. I feel like somebody's going to maybe give you clarity. I don't know. You you could hear you could hear from this person or someone. All right. Yeah. I feel like they could also be getting help. This is definitely twin flame.
they can even try to do this at a social event, a party or something. So you could get it invited somewhere. Maybe you guys are going to be out somewhere and bump into this person. But we got time to say goodbye. What's that about? Yeah, somebody's seeking help. Somebody's getting some kind of help in order to how to, yep, how to do this. Because you've been alone or this person has been alone. They've, they've been, you know, in their shadow self having to deal with their shadow self here. Somebody here is, is resisting change. Yeah, but they're eager and very determined to move this thing along with you. So even if you're not talking to this person, they could even, yeah. I feel like they're trying to be a little bit controlling, you know, trying to control the situation by not speaking. But deep down, they're afraid. So this is you. Yeah, here we go. They're afraid that this is unrequited. They're afraid that you're not, that you're not feeling the way that they feel. Or this is vice versa. Somebody's obsessed. So they could be getting advice from their cousin or a loyal friend or someone. I'm here and I don't know if she want me anymore, man. Lord. Look, confession of love. Say I love you. Somebody loves you, though. Anything else? Somebody, there's somebody that's also could be mad. That could be trying to get some kind of revenge or end something for you. Or it could be a third party or something like that that's trying to end something for you guys. You could be having dreams about this person. Like I said, this person. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. God bless the truth. This person could invite you out for drinks or for dinner. Here he is, Romeo. He's going to try to flirt with you. He's, he could even send you a message or something like that. So this person is, is trying to move things along um, between you two, okay? They don't know how to do it, but they're going to try. They're going to do it the best way that they know how. They're trying to figure it out. All right, so we'll see who this is. Let's see. If we can find out who this is. Somebody could be bald, I'm getting. Let's see who. Who could it be? Someone wears jeans and sneakers. Let's see. Who else could it be? Oh, that bald. Somebody bald. Somebody has a bald head, okay? Somebody's bald. Let's see. Who could it be? Who could it be? Someone that has a bob hairstyle. <laughs> it sounds like she's gonna make it sleep. You good, you're not on there. You're not in the camera. Yeah, I'm almost there. Let's see. Someone who could like to go or be in the islands. Could be young. Slim. Okay, I'm going to have to go help. And wear dresses and heels. And they could have black hair. But this could be you or your person or whoever it is. But I hope this helps bring some kind of clarity, confirmation, insight, and entertainment. And remember that I love you, but God loves you more. And if you don't do anything else, dream big. Wake up. Do it.